Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another brand new release. 2020 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions 6 box random letter break number 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com Only numbered cards, LeBron, Jordan base, and inserts and hits will ship. Everything else, basically base, is not going to ship. Chasing a lot of cool stuff here. We've been pulling some, some nice things right here. We haven't seen LeBron Jordan autos yet, but we've been pulling some nice stuff. Um... There are the letters right there. We're going first letter of their first name. First letter of their first name. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. There are the letters right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it three times. One, two, and three. After three times, we got Adam down to Adam. Thanks, HP. Yeah, it is, it is a good day for Dodgers fans. Mookie bets extended for a long time for a lot of money. Three times, letters. One, two, and three. B down to N. Now, trades are allowed, but trade at your own risk. Remember, these are first letters of their first names. Is that too aggressive, right? What about 18? That's fine. All right, Adam with B, Nancy with M, Scott with J, and S. If we pull any Scott Blackwell cards, it'll go to S. It'll go to Scott. Joey with T, Nancy with R, Russell with V, Lenny with W, Scott with D, Stephen with C, Rick with P, and L. Nancy, I, F, E, plus all the other letters not on this list here. John with A, Last Spot and Mojo, and Adam with N. Let's sort this by column B. Now we got a little confused with the box configurations. Turns out there's eight boxes in inner now. Instead of, I think there used to be like 12 box cases. So we call them six box breaks, but there's eight. So now there's four from the previous inner. Now we have to open this master case up and find out which, I'm gonna find two more boxes out of here. So let's open this up. I think you can see this on both this camera and this camera right here. Got a two camera system. All right, so you can see A and B right here. We'll roll the die. I'm going to select a die. That one right there. We'll go one, two, three for box A and four, five, six for box B. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's box B right there. Now let's pop this open. So now you've got four, five, and six boxes for the break. All right, any trades? No? All right, TWC means trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip.
are a little bit of a hassle, folks, but we'll grind through it. Yeah, Brandon's saying the money the Red Sox will not regret not giving him, like Babe, like Babe Ruth. Well, they traded the Babe. They traded the Babe, right? Or was it a free agency? No, they didn't have free agency back then. They traded him. They had, I mean, they didn't have to pay Chris Sale all that money. Brand, do I think America will ever host another soccer World Cup? Yes. In fact, we'll, we'll be hosting in about eight years. Or do you mean after that? Well, we're sharing it. It's, I think it's Canada, Mexico, United States. We'll be hosting that World Cup. But I don't know. Probably. Soccer is getting bigger in this country, and it's easier to it's, think of the United States. We're we're pretty we're pretty easily set up to uh, to host like global events like that without really taxing the the infrastructure too much. Because you know, like you hear all those stories of like, oh, there's you know, this city like almost went bankrupt, like bribing people for the, for like the World Cup or the Olympics and then building all these stadiums and having them go unused and using public money and stuff like that. For the United States, we already have that infrastructure set up. All right, there we go. All right, good luck, ladies and gents. So we're gonna. So these are the base cards right here. So these won't ship unless it's LeBron or Michael Jordan. Obviously, these are inserts that will ship. This blank card will not ship. That will ship. These minis, of course, will all ship. So this is gonna go to K, not not T for the. If that makes sense. These will obviously ship too. Brendan Bayless. Uh, for letter B, where did my list go? That's for Adam Copperman with B. So there are no trades, so this all remains the same for random letter break number three. Did I, number two, did I upload that? It's processing, okay. So like that LeBron James will ship. And there's our first relic, Theo Maldon. Goes to letter T, that'll be for Joey Edwards. And we got a nine out of 25, Steven Root. Autograph, S for Scott. Who is Steven Root? Oh, he was on news radio. Oh, he was Milton in Office Space, right, Adam Copperman? All right, there you go. I guess he, oh, he was the voice of Bill and Buck Strickland in uh, King of the Hill. That's a good animated show. Did some uh, Star Trek Next Generation. Did some Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? He's in a couple seasons of The Man in the High Castle. He's in Get Out. And is supporting roles in Boardwalk Empire and in Barry. All right, okay, so what a great career for him. All right. Hey, that's solid. Famous, but not too famous. I think that, that, would be, that would be the perfect level of celebrity, I think. It's like you do work, you're respected in the industry, but you're not being chased around by TMZ. I've actually never seen Get Out, Curtis, so you just spoil it for me. The blind guy in Get Out, you, spoiler alert. I hear that's good, though. I gotta, I gotta watch that. It's a cool tiger right there. Pocket says uh, he was in Dodgeball.
Spoilers expire after years? How many years? I guess I just don't even put this up. So can I just tell some 13-year-old kid what happens at the end of Usual Suspects? I'd be like, bro, that movie came out in the 90s. Um, I don't know what a Bianca Andres Andrescu is, but no, I don't think I remember any Biancas. Canadian tennis star. Canadian tennis player. Says Curtis. Curtis omitting star. What about what about uh what about Jeannie Bouchard? Is Bianca better than Jeannie? Everyone is better than Jeannie, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think she's I don't think Jeannie Bouchard has gotten how much past the first first couple days in a major tournament. She's fun on Twitter. Bianca Anderson won a Grand Slam? What did she win? Like a singles? Well, Corey, I'll put it this way. I love what's inside these packs, but I hate how these packs are constructed. Watch tennis double fails? I don't need to watch tennis double fails. I've done enough doubles fails in my, my lifetime playing doubles. Ooh, we've got Aesop's Fables. Aren't those really rare? We're going to go by artist on that. There's Theo Mal 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 Maladon. The animal cards, uh, yeah, they have good value if you get like the really short printed ones. Cause there's like ones that are like one out of 8,000 boxers or something like that. So like those, but the common ones are like any other common relic. But there's ones that are super short print that could go for hundreds, and, if not thousands of dollars. All right, everyone remembers the Aesop fable, the gnat and the bull. That's a great sketch. The gnat and the bull. A noisy gnat, who was proud of the buzzing sound he made while flying, took a breather on the tip of a bull's horn. As he prepared to resume flight, he thanked the bull for affording him a place to rest and stated he was sure the bull was happy he was leaving. The bull informed the gnat that he hadn't even been aware of his presence. The moral of the story, we are often of greater importance in our own eyes than in the eyes of our neighbor. The smaller the mind, the greater the conceit. Ooh. So I don't know who the artist is, maybe with letter E. I'm 
Come on, here, I'll drop the checklist for everybody, too. Yeah, they could, Curtis. Like, the ones that are, like, if you get a Tier 6 Tiger, Cheetah, or Lion manufactured patch, 1 out of 6,600, 6, they could go for a lot. Or the Tier 5 Sea Creatures. I've seen, like, the old prehistoric dinosaur ones that went for, like, $1,000, like the really short printed ones. Number of years back. That looks like Elvin, Elvin Hernandez on the checklist. That goes to letter E. That'll be for Nancy with that one. <laughs> Look at that guy. That guy's pretty great. No, not even the dinosaur part ones. I was surprised too. But the manufacturer patches, yeah. Especially this, again, the suits. It has to be like the one out of 8,000 packs or something like that, the really rare ones. But at least for the first week or so, they'll go for a lot. Curtis, is that true? Yeah, Pat Patrick doesn't always have the the most accurate information. Did Bianca win the first her first Grand Slam in the U.S. Open? Curtis. Yeah, I mean, nowadays, those old dinosaur sets probably won't go for that much. But at the time, yeah, they were, they were, they were, going, for, they were going for a lot, close to $1,000, if not more. Maybe the... Maybe the uh, Maybe the cat and the sea creature is maybe not as popular. Wait, fact check that tennis story. I know I'm right about the manufactured patch. Some guy actually brought in a set of some different ones. He had this whole set with the shortest printed one to the highest printed one. He was asking almost ten thousand dollars for it or something, but he had completed the whole manufactured patch check checklist for a certain year. I need a fact check on the on where when what uh, Grand Slam Bianca and Drescu won. No one has told me yet. Oh, U.S. Open defeated Serena, says HP. Why, why am I, what year was that? Why am I blanking on that? Oh, was it, sorry, I missed that, Curtis. I apologize. This past year? I, I must, I must have blanked on, why did I miss that? What were we doing last summer, Curtis? Was I not watching the U.S. Open? I'm sure I was.
I was too busy riding the Big Hit Express. I like tennis though. <laughs> Easy, Patrick Goodwin. You were you were saying uh, you said Wimbledon first. Yeah, these are a pretty fun set, Adam. It's a very fun feel to it. It's 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 got that old like gintery kind of feel. You know, it's 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 interesting seeing like different different players and people and all sorts of wacky stuff. It is a it is a very fun set. Got field hockey guys in there. Musicians. Animals. I really like the animals in this. I like these lumberjack minis here as well. There's James Holzhauer, a TV personality. I don't know James Holzhauer. His face, he kind of looks familiar. I don't just know where they... And we got a Darius Garland autograph. Nice. Nice. So that goes to letter D. That'll be for Scott Blackwell. Oh, was he the was he the Jeopardy guy? Nice one, AJ. Your chat's behind a few months. Three boxes to go here, Got another 20 minutes or so, and then we'll get into the next break. I think schedule is in the chat. The times might be a little off on that schedule, but that's the order. Right, right, right. He was the the Jeopardy guy. He was uh, the sports gambler, right? And he would go like he would use a strategy where he would go. There he is again. I'm sure it says on the back. But like he would go real big on the double Jeopardies. So if we ever hit it, he would just, he would just be like everything. And he sort of mapped it out where uh, you can kind of math it out where he would get uh, the maximum return on money. And like on Final Jeopardy, he bet everything. Like he wasn't being cute and trying to like beat someone by a dollar, right? Like if he lost, he would just be like, if he had $20,000, he'd just be like, he'll bet 20000 I don't know if Howie Mandel's in this checklist. It'd be cool to see animal autographs, though. Yeah, they might authenticate those paw prints, HP. Some of your good trackers may be able to tell what the paw print is. It's like, oh, ocelot, you know? Uh, no, I, yeah, I think they're a little more generous with the Jason Dominguez autographs as opposed to, like, Bowman. Is that, the, is that an anti-Jeopardy strategy? I'm just betting a lot of money. He's a sports better. I can see that. You started bird watching, Curtis?
Now, Curtis, you are in Canada, so bird may mean something different up there. Ozil, Mini. Casey Mize, eight out of eight on that. Letter C, Stephen Green. Like, that looks different. It is. It's a short print. Eight out of eight. Just a few off the uh, train, a train whistle. Nice. Could be the another Justin Verlander is what Tigers organization's hoping. And we've got a Somali cat. Look at that. Unlike other African cat breeds like the Abyssinian, the Somali cat has a distinct long coat of hair that tends to draw the attention of prospective cat owners. Due to its long bushy tail, it's often compared to foxes, but tends to be far more friendly. These cats love to play and are a great choice for owners who are comfortable with pets, pets that love to climb. So buy like one of those huge like towers these cats can roam around on. I don't have top loaders this size, but we'll get that top loaded properly. Our Instagram is at Jaspies Breaks. At Jaspie's Breaks. Jason is live right now. We're live seven nights a week, actually, doing personal breaks. At Jaspie's Breaks. <laughs> yeah, there is definitely a love-hate quality with this. Some people are just like, this is just weird. Too goofy. You know, I don't like it. Some people love it. I, do, I enjoy it just because there's a lot of different things to talk about in, the, in these sets. But you still get a, a good chunk of sports here too. By the way, stuff if this this is a base card, won't ship, but that would go to K, not, not T for the, if there's any other card similar to that. There's Joe Morva Morovsky, an athlete. I don't know. I don't know Joe. These are cool. Heads of state, John Adams. Nice. Look at that old stamp. Where were you going, stamp? You ever wonder that? Where Where was that stamp going? What were you What, what were you carrying? Letter J. Scott Blackwell with J. Two boxes to go. Good luck. Uh, no, uh, that was from the original. There are that LeBron era uh, design that they redid, the re a retro design in here. In fact, we, we pulled that uh, Dominguez auto from a couple breaks ago that was in that retro LeBron design. But the LeBron that sold for 1.8 million was the actual one from the whatever 2000 whatever exquisite basketball. That was an amazing one. That'd be awesome if it came out of Goodwin Champion spot. That would be sick.
Is this seltzer game still going strong, ladies and gentlemen? Everyone's all on the on the on the alcoholic seltzer. Where would you even auction that? There, there are, there are a number of auction houses that spe that specialize in sports. There we go, Sam. Two thousand three, two thousand four upper deck for that LeBron James that recently sold for almost two million dollars. Yeah, guy like LeBron James, a lot of people would be, a lot of auction houses would be happy to take a commission off of a couple million bucks. I guess should we start our own auction house, Marco? Good luck, boys and girls. Onwards. Second to last box. Got more Lumberjack minis here. It kind of has a cool wood texture on it, which I dig. There's Jason Dominguez mini. J, obviously, for Jason Dominguez. We've got, this will also be for J, Jamie Dwyer. Did, they, did these all have? That's weird. These don't have. But this has some sort of This doesn't look any different from any of the other cards, unless that's a manufacturing error. I guess when you get the Scott Blackwell, it's up to you. It could be a secret behind there. It'd be like the movie National Treasure with Nicolas Cage. And that one guy, and that one girl. Ah, thanks, Philip Klein. So the scratch-offs are a part of the bounty program. Got it. Good luck. So it is like a national treasure, hunting for treasure. It was just like the movie. Oh, and another cat, a jungle cat for Jay. The old jungle cat, yeah, found across a lot of ecosystems. And we got Robin bad to the bone. B -b -b bad. Who is, what do you do? Pole vaulter. R. That goes to Nancy. R.
Last box coming up. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it's a set of this. I guess the first to complete the 50 card splash of color lenticular bounty set will win a splash of color Tiger Woods autograph. 25 of them, apparently. It's a nice bounty. Just enough space in my trash can here, too. Dodgers paid Betts a $65 million signing bonus? That whatever, that's what I saw across the ticker. Finally. Michael Jordan, all those Michael Jordan base cards and LeBron base cards will ship. We've got Phil Dalhauser, beach volleyball player. Beach volleyballing it up. Beach volleyball, life's a beach. We've got sport royalty, Simone Manuel. S. That'll be for Scott Blackwell. Got Mark Henry. First 
a strong man. A strongman. What do you do, Mark? I'm a strongman. Goes to Nancy. An M. It's Tiger Woods mini. Jason Dominguez. Now there's the Bianca Andreescu that Curtis was talking about. Yeah, there it is. Man. Hmm. Huh. And she so she has her number. And that's it, folks. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of cool stuff here. Do a quick little uh, little R cap, little recap. Darius Garland autograph in there, and we'll make sure all these are top loaded too. Cat, John Adams stamp. A couple more cats. We have got that sketch of the uh, bull, the gnat and the bull story was a great story, and a lot of fun stuff. Out of Goodwin Champions. More coming up a little bit later tonight. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.